everybody, it's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my Tuesday tip. Hey, today we're going to be talking about something that might come as a shock to you. I like to chop up my stamps. I do. I love to take uh, my sentiment stamps or my sentiment image stamps and I like to whack that sentiment off so that I can use it a little bit differently than the way that Stampin' Up! did. All right, are you ready to learn how? Let's see if you're brave enough to do what I did. But trust me, if you'll stick with me, I think you're really gonna like today's tip. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. So I wanted to create a card with just the pig. I didn't want it to say hogs and kisses. And you can see that that hogs and kisses is attached. See, I've separated the words from the stamps. I know it's not pretty. It does not make for a pretty stamp, but there's a reason I left it kind of ugly because when I go to put this back together, I wanted to say hogs and kisses now. This piece, it just kind of, it just fits. You just kind of find the groove of where you cut. It can press right back on. And now I'm ready. I know I'm set. I'm centered. It is exactly the way the stamp came from Stampin' Up. But whenever I want to remove those words, it's that easy. So I did that with all four of the pigs in the This Little Piggy stamp set. But today, I want to show you how to do that. We're going to use the Friendly Expressions stamp set. I love these sentiments, but yes, I would like to just have congratulations or just have thanks. So let's chop it up. Did that word make you nervous? I know it can be a little scary, right? Well, we're going to start with the Happy to Know You. There's two different ways you can do this. I love to have a pair of paper snips that I use strictly for cutting rubber. Um, you can see I've put a little ugly ribbon on it. It's been there for a long time, but these are my rubber cutting scissors or anything that might be sticky. Um, I love to use this. It's easy to clean, but what I like is that the paper snips have a really, really sharp point so that when I do go to cut, I can get down and kind of like little grooves. If that's not the direction you want to go, you can also use an X-Acto knife and it might be more precise. You might feel more comfortable using an X-Acto knife. I'm so for this one, are you ready? Here we go. Snip. That is all I'm going to do. Now I'm going to come up on this side and right next to it, snip. Done. So you can see I'm going to leave this here, this little point. I'm not going to remove it. I'm not going to chop it up and, and trim it out and make it nice because when I want this to go back together, you can see it fits like a glove. I can now mount those words separately and now I can say happy to know you. And then I could come in, I could circle punch that. And now you can see how different it looks where this is a nice long um, expression. I was now able to keep it a little bit tighter. And now when you're ready, you want this to go back to being a long stamp. I can adhere happy. I can just fit that to know you. Look, you can't even tell it's been cut. And now I can come in and stamp that exactly the way Stampin' Up! meant it to be. I can now come in and cut the remainder of my stamps. Now I told you that I'd share with you the technique using the X-Acto knife. I want to protect my table, so I've just got a piece of chipboard, guys. This can be, uh, you know, cereal box or cracker box or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and snip uh, right to here. Again, you could do it with the X-Acto knife as well, but I want you to see that's a tight little fit right there. You might feel more comfortable cutting this with the X-Acto knife. And so what you wanna do, I'm gonna start actually right here because I wanna have some control right in between there. And I'm just gently going to score it. I'm not gonna start cutting through the rubber yet. You can see it cut, oh, it did cut, but I don't wanna try to saw all the way through that yet. So we're gonna do it in steps. So that was one, there's two, and three, take your time. You do not want to get speedy when you've got an X-Acto knife in your hand. All right, when I get to this point, I'm just, yeah, I did. I went ahead and it cut through uh, the little sticker right there. If it didn't, you can come back from this direction and cut that. So I've got that area done. Now let me come in this direction. I do sometimes kind of come and bend it back to see how how close I am. I really am trying to avoid even um, hitting my chipboard. And there we go. 
Um, I did want to point out, you probably see it as well. There is some kind of jaggedy rubber there. Um, I'm just going to come in and trim that away. It's not going to affect anything when I go to put my rubber together, but I don't want that to accidentally be sticking up and then possibly get on my paper when I stamp. So we'll remove that just as we did before. If we want to put it back together, you can see it just fits here, here. I know exactly where it needs to go. So this one here says life is tough, but so are you. Uh, I really doubt I'll ever use the word tough by itself, but I would say life is tough. And then I could trim this one and you can see, I'm just gonna go right in between those two words. And now on the front of my card, I could say life is tough. And inside my card, I could say, but so are you. My last one is a congratulations to you. I think there's many times I would like to say just congratulations. So we'll cut here and we'll cut here. And there we go. You can see the pieces will now just fit right back into your stamp case. Well, what did you think? Were you just like nail biting as I was doing it? Guys, I know it's a little scary to cut into that rubber, but you know what? I have gotten so much more use out of these stamp sets and many others that I didn't even show you today where I have separated the sentiment from the image or in this case, the sentiment from the sentiment. And it really has uh, given me a lot more opportunities to use my stamps in really fun ways. I hope that you enjoy the video. Now listen, if you wanna find out more information, maybe about these stamp sets or any of the others, you can head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Just look for the February 5th, 2019 blog post. That's where I'll have this video posted and all the information about the things that I use to create uh, these um, wonderful little chopped up sentiments. Guys, don't be scared. You can do it. Now, I also want to tell you this technique can also be done with your photopolymer or the brand new cling stamps. That technique is going to work great. So don't be afraid. Take it easy. Take it slow. No reason to hurry. We want to get them cut just right. Thanks everybody so much for tuning in to today's Tuesday tip. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. I like to know what you guys like to see. And if you haven't already done so, click that big red subscribe button. Become a subscriber of my channel and that way you'll get notifications whenever I'm back with a new video, whether it's a two minute tip, a card making video, or maybe some simple stamping on Saturday. So be sure to click subscribe and ring that bell so that YouTube will give you a notification. Guys, that is all for me today. Have a fabulous one and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.